Uh, major averages uh, moving in different directions today. The Dow closing in the green for the fourth straight day, while the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq closed lower. Joining us now on the phone, Mike Wilson, Morgan Stanley, Chief U.S. Equity Strategist and Chief Investment Officer. Mike, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, good, to, good to hear from you. Thanks, Will. Thanks for having me. Um, looking through your, your recent note, the, the bottom line is that for the major averages, at least at the headline level, you, you think the outlook's pretty, uh, pretty bleak. Yeah, I wouldn't say it means bleak. It's just not that exciting. I mean, it's fully valued. You know, the revisions are probably going to be a little bit less exciting as well. And, of course, the Fed now is moving towards tapering. So it's just not a great combination uh, for the major averages. And really, when I say the major averages, I mean the S&P 500, which has been far and away, you know, the best performing, you know, major average in the world with the NASDAQ because they're the highest quality indices. And as you know, Wilf, our narrative for this year, this mid-cycle transition, this is all very normal. Right, the market got narrow, and then at the very end, you know, basically the, the highest quality index is the one that underperforms. And I think you're seeing that in the last couple of days pretty nicely, right? S and P, Nasdaq underperforming. You know, the Dow did better, and the small caps did better, and it's and, and some of the areas that have been left behind are actually outperforming a little bit here. So, gauge for us what, what we're talking about here: a sort of sideways move for the S and P for the rest of this year, or are we going to finally see one of those elusive 10 percent pullbacks? Yeah, I, I mean, look, we're still very much in the, our target for year end is 4,000. So we're obviously assuming we're going to have about a 10% pullback uh, between now and year end. So that is our call. Um, now, 10% correction in, in an equity market is really not that big a deal at the end of the day. It's a bigger deal that there's no place to hide. And I think you're seeing, once again, today and the last couple of days, you're seeing a rotation back to some of these areas that have underperformed. Uh, can they go up as the S&P goes down 10%? Some of them can, for sure. And that's our job is to try and find those areas where we think you, know, you can outperform and, and do better than the major average. So, Mike, what are some of those areas? So we think it's um, you know, uh, health care and, and staples on the defensive side and financials to participate in what we think are going to be higher interest rates. Uh, and that, that combination, that barbell, actually worked quite well last week. It was up. It would outperform the S&P. And uh, those would be three areas we like. We also like consumer services as opposed to consumer goods, where we think there's been some overconsumption uh, over the last 12 months.